there.
All right, let's do this. Blood that stains its hairless hands? Curious. A curious race, Paxotec are, to be sure. How came I to this wretched state? Uh, its eyes reached the question. Before its tongue left home or hearth, the tumbling ruin beneath its tender pads was once a fortification. An encircling bulwark to the greatest conurbation ever brought forth on Yesha's soil. Such faith we put in its solidity. Merchant and marshal, peasant and prince, their souls kneeled at the altar of within and without. But a wall is a false god, built to crumble. The only thing a wall ever truly divides is a fool from his wisdom. The rifts open swiftly. They split the bulwark stone as a hot needle kisses the onion skin of a boil. And the pus poured through on tangled wooden limbs. For 40 days, we fought them on these steps. The soldiers fell first, then the officers. Then they called upon the priests. We knew the children would be next. And so, we flung our very bodies into the breach. Some were torn apart like green shoots in a glutton's teeth. Others were swallowed whole and vanished from the sphere. I stuck, anguished cork in a malign bottle. It seethes around me. It waits to disgorge its grotesqueries once more upon Yesha's scalded skin. Please, Baxaltec. Wanderer, it who would do right, put its edge to this cursed snarl, vent its rage upon it. I shall greet death as an old friend, and we shall go hand in hand to the horizon, leaving the suffering of this blasted heat far behind. Destroy the knot. Strike! Make <laughs> Get out! 
Or as insensate Martin has claimed me, Paxotec. I have not tasted air mixed with the foul humors of the tango in an age's age, nor did I dream that I ever might again, much less feel the soft touch of good soil beneath my hooves, or the kiss of the wind on my free fur. Faithless, faithless have I been, and yet, Axaltec came with war in its right hand, and temperance in its left, the Paxaltec came, and I am saved. Two-handed warrior, it has my allegiance, whatever may come. Paxaltec have a gift for death, this much is true, but they are not all destroyers. Perhaps if it fights with us, perhaps the root may yet be crushed under the wheel of time. Take this, though it be a relic of we lamer, stewards of death. Wield it in defense of life. No thanks is needed, for I owe it a debt unpayable. <laughs> I think I shall linger here a while yet. Many are those who fell on these blood-soaked steps. No, some are now not but bones. They each deserve the funerary rites of royalty. These I shall endeavor to complete with whatever time is left to me. If its road should ever wind this way again, grace me with a visit. There are yet tales of Yesha, I might tell it, if it cares to hear them shared. On the contrary, <laughs> it has been ages since I felt so very much alive. Ah, eh. let us first be properly introduced. Eh? Once I was called Lich. Foremost of the Lamer, hmm? uh, I priest of the dead. How oh, I gloried in that title. Would that I had known the irony. A funerary priest of the deathless, the highborn, hmm? one who wraps the powerful in glory, and the Muslim who seals the secrets of the Eternal Empress with sweet seed oil and with night sap. We guarded the flesh of the great and sought their resurrection among these trusted sacred man. I was the utmost. Uh, I relish the favor of her permanence. More fool I. For many epochs, the highborn did not fear the flow of time, for the fruit of the Thane tree kept it at bay. But there are other ways to die. Misadventure. <sighs> the Eternal Empress dreamed of defeating this final terminus. If life could be taken, could it not be given back? The flesh was preserved against that question's answer. This was the province of the Lamir. But let us start at the beginning. Hmm? Much would I have it know. And to know all, it must know what is first. Would it hear the history of the pan? There remains much to hear for those who would hear it much to learn for them that wish to learn it. <laughs> 